हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर मनीष पटेल एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय चैनल लेट्स डायसेक्ट एनाटॉमी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लॉन्ग क्वेश्चंस फॉर यू दैट इज थायरॉइड ग्लैंड सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट स्टार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द इंट्रोडक्शन द थायरॉइड ग्लैंड इज द लार्जेस्ट एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड ऑफ द बॉडी एंड इट इज सिचुएटेड इन द लोअर पार्ट ऑफ द फ्रंट as well as side of the neck it is one of the organ of the body which have a very rich blood supply the hormones as you all know secreted by the gland are triiodothyronine means t3 tetraiodothyronine means t4 or thyroxine and calcitonin which performs the following functions the first one is they are regulating the basal metabolic rate bmr this stimulates the psychosomatic growth of the body and the third important function is to play a important role in calcium metabolism first of all location and features of the thyroid gland the thyroid gland is located in the lower part of the front and side of the neck opposite C5 C6 C7 and T1 vertebra here you can see from the picture this yellow part is the thyroid gland it extend from the C5 vertebra up to the T1 vertebra it is edge shaped and consist of two lobes one is right lateral and another is left lateral right lateral and left lateral which are joined to each other by isthmus this middle part is called isthmus sometimes a small pyramidal lobe also projects upward from the isthmus usually to the left of the midline here you can see this one this is the pyramidal lobe sometimes it is connected to the body of the hyoid bone by a fibromuscular band which is known as levator glanduli thyroidi here you can see this one pyramidal lobe and hyoid bone ko ek dusre se connect karta hai aisa ek fibromuscular band hota hai both this pyramidal lobe and this band are rarely present each lobe extends from the middle of the thyroid cartilage up to the fourth or fifth tracheal ring agar hum vertebra ki compare mein dekhe location to it extends from c5 to t1 aur hum midline structures of the neck ko compare karke dekhe so here you can see this is blue colored thyroid cartilage uske exactly middle mein se start hota hai or it extends up to the fourth or fifth tracheal ring the dimensions and weight the each lobe measures about 5 by 2.5 by 2.5 cm and the isthmus is around 1.2 by 1.2 cm on an average the weight of the gland is about 25 g however it is larger in female than in males and further in female it increases in size during menstruation pregnancy and lactation ye teen physiological condition hai jisme thyroid gland ki size thodi si bad jati hai for a temporary period now the capsule of the thyroid gland it has two capsules one is true and one is false the true capsule is nothing but it's a peripheral condensation of the connective tissue of the gland jo gland ke connective tissue hai wo periphery mein thoda sa thick ho jata hai condense ho jata hai aur jo capsule banata hai what is it is called true capsule and false capsule is derived from the pretracheal layer of deep cervical fascia if you remember the deep cervical fascia it has the one layer that is pretracheal layer which encircles the thyroid gland and trachea okay so uh, it forms the false capsule of the thyroid gland it is thin along its posterior border of the lobe while thick over its inner surface of the gland 
Now the relations of the gland. Each lobe of the thyroid gland is roughly pyramidal in shape and it has an apex, the base, three surfaces and two borders. The apex is directed upward and slightly laterally. It is limited superiorly by the attachment of the sternothyroid to the oblique line of thyroid cartilage. The apex is with sternothyroid ke thodi se relation. Mein rehti hai. The base hai jo khatam hota hai, matlab thyroid jahan pe niche, at the level of 4th or 5th tracheal link wahan pe located hai, and it is related to the inferior thyroid artery and recurrent laryngeal now so apex ke relation mein aayega sternothyroid muscle and base ke relation mein aayenge inferior thyroid artery and recurrent laryngeal now now the surface is the first one lateral or superficial surface it is convex and it is covered by the strap muscles strap muscles kise kehte hai to jo infrahyoid muscles the if you remember the muscular triangles of anterior triangle video where I mentioned these strap muscles okay if you don't remember you can go and watch the video of anterior triangle so sternohyoid, sternothyroid, superior belly of homohyoid all these three muscles are known as strap muscles and along with it the anterior border of sternocleidomastoid muscle is also there in relation with the lateral surface of the thyroid the medial surface is related to two things uh, actually the medial surface relations you can remember a rule of two two tubes they are trachea and esophagus two muscles they are inferior constrictors and cricothyroid and two nerves they are external laryngeal and recurrent laryngeal the posterior surface is related to the carotid sheath with its content and as you all know the contents are common and internal carotid artery, internal jugular vein and vagus. Now, here you can see from the picture, this is the thyroid gland, cut section of the thyroid gland, yellow color. Here you can see lateral surface mein strap muscles hai, sternothyroid, sternohyoid, superior value of homohyoid and sternocleidomastoid. Posterior surface mein you can see in the relation, this is the carotid sheath okay then anterior border here you can see this is the front view of the thyroid gland and this is the back view of the thyroid gland so here you can see this is the anterior border of the gland this one and this one is the posterior border of the gland so anterior border is thin and is related to the anterior branch of superior thyroid artery if you remember superior thyroid artery is the first branch of anterior division of external carotid artery so ye hai common carotid artery phir ye divide hui external or internal carotid mein aur jo external carotid hai uski first branch this is the superior thyroid artery The posterior border is thick and it is rounded and separates the medial and posterior surfaces. So, ye jo hai, ho, thick posterior border hai. It is related to the inferior thyroid artery, parathyroid gland, anastomosis between superior and inferior thyroid arteries and thoracic duct. Here you can see this is the posterior border this one so yahan pe aage you can see inferior thyroid artery is there then yellow uh, spots are there one two three four they are the parathyroid glands and then anastomosis between both the superior and inferior thyroid arteries along with thoracic duct on the left side so these are the relations of the posterior border of the thyroid gland now relations of the isthmus the isthmus connects the lower part of the two lobes it has two surfaces anterior posterior and two borders upper and lower the anterior surface is covered by 
right and left sternothyroid and sternohyoid muscles, anterior jugular vein and skin and fascia. So these are the relations of the anterior surface of the isthmus. Posterior surface is related to the second, third and fourth trachea ring. Upper border related to the anastomosis between right and left superior thyroid artery and lower border is related to the inferior thyroid vein. Okay, so these are the relations of the isthmus. The arterial supply, the thyroid gland hai, to thyroid artery usko supply karegi. So mainly it is supplied by two arteries, superior thyroid artery and inferior thyroid artery. So superior thyroid artery, it is the first anterior branch of external carotid artery. Aapko ye khas yaad rakhna hai, superior thyroid artery kiski branch hai aur inferior thyroid artery kiski branch hai aur wo dono thyroid ke kaun se part ko supply karta hai. Ye do cheez aapko khas yaad rakhni hai, even important for the dissection bio also. So it runs downwards and forwards in the relation to the external laryngeal nerve. It pierces the pretracheal fascia to reach the upper pole of the lobe where it divides into anterior and posterior branches. This is the course mentioned kiya hai. So before that course you can see from this picture. This is the superior thyroid artery. Hai. So here ऊपर से नीचे डिसेंड होती है लाइक दिस और फिर एट द अपर पोल ऑफ द थायरॉइड लेन इट डिवाइड्स इनटू एंटीरियर ब्रांच एंड पोस्टीरियर ब्रांच एंटीरियर ब्रांच ऐसे करके इस्थमस पे भी जाएगी ये वाली ऐसे करके इस तरफ जाएगी और दोनों का यहां पे एनास्टोमोसिस होगा और ये जो दिख रही है इट इज एक्चुअली द पोस्टीरियर ब्रांच पीछे के पार्ट में दिखेगी पर अभी डायग्राम में यहां पे दिखाया आपको ठीक है so, uh, we course discuss the course of the course of the course of the course of right? So, the anterior branch descends on the anterior border of the lobe and then it continues along the upper border of the isthmus. Upper se aegi, anterior jo lobe hai, uske anterior border se descend ho ke phir. Isthmus ki upper border pe jayegi aur phir opposite jo saamne wali uh, anterior branch hai uske saath anastomosis karegi and posterior branch descends on the posterior border wo piche jayegi aur niche se jo inferior thyroid artery aa rahi hai uske saath anastomosis karegi so this superior thyroid artery supplies the upper one third of the lobe and upper half of the isthmus lobe ka upper one third or isthmus ka upper half it is supplied by the superior thyroid artery inferior thyroid artery is a branch of thyro cervical trunk okay the superior is a branch of external carotid artery inferior one is a branch of thyro cervical trunk which arises from the subclavian artery it runs upward then medially and then finally downwards to reach the lower lobe here you can see from the picture ye subclavian artery hai ye wali usme se ye thyrocervical trunk nikalta hai usme se inferior thyroid artery aise jati hai wo pehle upar jati hai fir medially turn hoti hai fir downward hoke lower pole pe reach karti hai aur uski ek branch will posterior border ke along aise jaake anterior branch hai uh, sorry posterior branch hai jo superior thyroid artery ki iske sath yahan pe anastomosis karti hai right during the course it passes behind the carotid sheath and the medial cervical sympathetic ganglion and also in front of vertebral vessels the terminal part is related to the recurrent laryngeal nerve also the artery divides into four to five branches which pierces the fascia separately to reach the lower part of the gland 
ग्लैंड में पहुंचने से पहले वो फोर टू फाइव स्मॉल ब्रांचेस में डिवाइड हो जाती है और उसमें से एक जो एसेंडिंग ब्रांच है वो पोस्टर बॉर्डर के अलॉन्ग ऊपर जाती है और सुपीरियर थायरॉयड आर्टरी के साथ एनास्टोमोस करती है और वही ब्रांच पैराथायरॉयड ग्लैंड्स जो पोस्टर बॉर्डर पे है उनको भी सप्लाई करती है सो द इन्फीरियर थायरॉयड आर्टरी सप्लाइज दी लोअर टू थर्ड ऑफ द लोब्स एंड लोअर हाफ ऑफ द इस्थमस अपर वन थर्ड एंड अपर हाफ ऑफ इस्थमस बाय सुपीरियर थायरॉयड आर्टरी एंड लोअर टू थर्ड ऑफ लोब एंड लोअर हाफ ऑफ द इस्थमस बाय इन्फीरियर थायरॉयड आर्टरी यू मस्ट रिमेंबर दिस थिंग्स इन थ्री परसेंट केसेस द थायरॉयड इज ऑल्सो सप्लाइड बाय थायरॉयडिया ईमा आर्टरी एंड रेयरली वन अनदर एसेसरी थायरॉयड आर्टरी इज ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट सो सुपीरियर इन्फीरियर आर ऑलवेज प्रेजेंट बट बहुत ही कम रेयर केसेस में थायरॉयडिया ईमा एंड एसेसरी थायरॉयड आर्टरी भी देखने को मिलती है वीनस ड्रेनेज इट इज ड्रेन बाय आ थ्री सेट्स ऑफ वेन सुपीरियर मिडल एंड इन्फीरियर थायरॉयड वेन्स एंड समटाइम्स द फोर्थ थायरॉयड वेन द वेन ऑफ कोचर इज ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट बिफोर डिस्क्राइबिंग दिस स्लाइड आई वॉन्ट टू शो दी डायग्राम हियर यू कैन सी दिस इज द सुपीरियर थायरॉयड वेन दिस इज द मिडल थायरॉयड वेन एंड दिस इज द इन्फीरियर थायरॉयड वेन ओके और इन्फीरियर और मिडल के बीच में यू कैन सी दिस वन दिस इज द फोर्थ वेन दैट इज कोचर्स वेन ओके सो ऑल द सुपीरियर मिडल कोचर्स दे ऑल ड्रेन इन टू दिस इंटरना जुगलर वेन हियर यू कैन सी Ultimately, it drains into the right brachiocephalic veins, and this side, it drains into the left brachiocephalic veins. But here you can notice the inferior thyroid vein directly drain into the left brachiocephalic vein. So, superior thyroid vein emerges at the upper pole and it runs upward and laterally and ends into the internal jugular vein. Middle is a very short. Directly, it drains into the internal jugular vein, and inferior thyroid vein. It emerges at the lower border of the isthmus, and it drains into the left brachiocephalic vein. And sometimes, a fourth thyroid vein, a vein of Kocher, also emerges between the middle and inferior thyroid vein, and drain into the internal jugular vein. The lymphatic drainage. upper part of the gland drains into the upper deep cervical lymph nodes either directly or through prelaryngeal nodes while lower part drains into the lower deep cervical nodes directly and also through the pretracheal and paratracheal lymph nodes the nerve supply the parasympathetic is derived from vagus and recurrent laryngeal while sympathetic is derived from superior middle and inferior cervical sympathetic ganglia but mainly the middle one histology and functions of the thyroid gland histology of the thyroid gland is a separate five mark short note here i just uh, show you a very short summary in the one slide only the thyroid gland is made up of following two type of cells follicular cells and para follicular cells follicular cells lines the follicles of the gland and they secrete the t3 and t4 which stimulates the bmr and psychosomatic growth of the individual while parasympathetic para follicular cells also known as the c cells they are the fewer in number and light cells lies between the follicles and they secrete the calcitonin which plays an important role in the calcium metabolism it promotes the deposition of the calcium salts in the skeletal and other tissues and tends to produce the hypocalcemia These effects are opposite to those of parathormone. जो parathyroid gland से निकलता है parathormone, उनकी exactly opposite effect यहाँ पर रहती है ये हाइपो कैल्शियम या करता है और parathormone जो है हाइपर कैल्शियम या करता है Embryology or development, it is also a development of the thyroid gland, also a five mark separate short note that we'll discuss in 
embryology here this is just a summary the thyroid gland is developed from the median endodermal thyroid diverticulum which grows down in front of the neck from the floor of the primitive pharynx so pharynx ka floor hai wahan pe ek median endodermal thyroid diverticulum develop hota hai wo phir dheere dheere grow karke niche jata hai okay aur phir niche ka jo part hai just uh, below the tuberculum impar what is it that we'll discuss in detail in embryology okay so the lower end of the diverticulum enlarges to form the gland so pharynx ke फ्लोर में से एक डायवर्टिकुलम निकलता है वो धीरे धीरे करके नीचे नेक में जाता है और सबसे नीचे का पार्ट फिर वो एक्सपांड हो जाता है और जो एक्सपांड हो जाता है वो पार्ट को बोलता है थायरॉयड ग्लैंड और जो ऊपर का ट्यूब लाइक स्ट्रक्चर था वो धीरे धीरे नैरो होके डिसपियर हो जाता है बट समाइम इट रिमेन्स नैरो ट्यूब स्ट्रक्चर इट इज नोन एज थाइरोग्लोसल duct most of the duct actually soon disappears but jo duct reh jate hain usme phir cyst ya fistula hone ke chances hai the thyroid gland may develop at abnormal sites along the course of the duct resulting in lingual or retrosternal thyroid lingual means related to tongue to jo pharynx ke floor mein se niche downward uska डेवलपमेंट uh, होता था उसकी वज उसकी जगह वो वहीं पे रह के वहीं पे ही एक्सपांड हो जाएगा तो टंग के नीचे थायरॉयड ग्लैंड आ जाएगा तो उसको बोलते हैं लिंग्यूअल थायरॉयड और वो डाउनवर्ड शिफ्ट होने के टाइम और ज़्यादा डाउनवर्ड हो जाए और स्टर्नम के नीचे तक चला जाए और वहाँ जाके फिर एक्सपांड हो तो उसको रिट्रोस्टर्नल थायरॉयड कहते हैं Applied anatomy: Any enlargement of thyroid gland, except that due to the menstruation, pregnancy, and lactation, is called goiter. That you all know. It may be associated with hypofunction or hyperfunction of the gland. Hypothyroidism occurs due to the insufficient secretion of the T3-T4, while hyper occurs due to the excessive secretion of T3-T4. Removal of the gland is called thyroidectomy. ओके हियर यू कैन सी दिस इज द सिंपल गोइटर नॉन टॉक्सिक गोइटर एंड दिस इज द मेलिग्नेंट गोइटर कैंसर ओके सो दैट इज ऑल अबाउट द थायरॉयड ग्लैंड दिस इज अ वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन फॉर यू सो गो थ्रू दिस वीडियो वंस और ट्वाइस एंटिल यू अंडरस्टैंड इट ओके सो Uh, that is all about thyroid gland if you uh, like the content of this video hit the like button subscribe the channel and share it to your friends see you in the next video till then goodbye thank you